Hey learners, today we are going to study about Parthenocarpy. Parthenocarpy, it is a natural or artificially induced production of fruit. Now what kind of fruit we are producing through this process? We are producing the fruit which is seedless. And this seedless process is because the fruit is developed without any fertilization. Normally what happened that male gamete which is known as anther is going to fuse with the female gamete known as egg. And because of this fusion process or the process of fertilization a seed is developed. But due to parthenocarpy this male gamete will not fuse with the female gamete and because of this there will be no seeds or the fruit which is produced will be seedless. The examples of some fruits include banana, pineapple, some oranges and grapes. Now what is what is the reason of parthenocarpy? Parthenocarpy occurs due to hormonal imbalance. It means that hormone level inside the ovary increases or decreases somehow which will lead to seedless fruit production. What specific hormone is responsible for parthenocarpy is auxin. Normally high auxin level in the ovule are responsible for the parthenocarpy production. However, if you are artificially inducing parthenocarpy, what you are going to do, you are going to just spray the flowers of plants with hormones which may be gibberellin, auxin or cytokinin. And these hormones, they are going to stimulate the development of parthenocarpic fruit parthenocarpic fruit means seedless fruits as we are artificially inducing the parthenocarpy so it is known as artificial parthenocarpy however some home gardeners they sometimes spray their tomatoes with the auxins to assure the production of fruits which is seedless we know that seeds which are present in the tomatoes they may lead to kidney stones so if a tomato is produced without these seeds so we can prevent the kidney stones so just spray of auxin on the tomato plant may lead to the development of seedless fruit or seedless tomatoes and in this way we can prevent the kidney stone so next time when you are eating any fruit which has no seed you should think that parthenocarpy is the process behind the development of this seedless fruit so that was all about parthenocarpy i will see you in the next video